What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Y Egglock. In the last episode we headed up towards Parfum Palace, did half of Route 7 I think it is, and today we're just going to carry on and finish off the route and hopefully do all the Parfum Palace shit too. So we, we did the left hand side, we just have to do the right hand side now. Uh, as you remember in the last, or the end of the last episode we hatched our new egg, Excellent, um, which is very nice. And we also have Reginald, Godzilla, Albrecht and Salute, I think those all survived. Um, <laughs> the Pokemon we lost last episode were Farah and also uh, Hero, the Cle the Boltoy rather. So, we'll just skate over and get on with it. Obviously, I did train up, uh, oh, I keep, keep missing the entrance, I did train up my Execute here, but um, it was taking quite a while to train it, so I figured, you know, I'd just get on, record the episode, because I, I was sat for like an hour doing it, so I thought, you know, and it's pretty late now, it's almost uh, 10 o'clock my time, and I want to get the video up soonish. So, um, it's, yeah, and I thought I'd just get on and record it. So hopefully it's not too under level, we can always switch out, or we are going to switch out, because I don't think we're going to be able to take out Fletchling, <laughs> uh, especially since Fletchling probably knows Flame, is there no Flame Charge before it evolves? I'm pretty sure it knows Flame Charge before it evolves, I'm not sure. Anyway, there's Excellent coming out into battle for the first time. Um, it's level 14, so yeah, two levels higher than us. We're going to switch out to Godzilla. Everyone else is level 18, uh, and obviously Albrex is level 19, which isn't too over leveled since we did lose two Pokemon last episode that were level like 16, I think. So, yeah, you're certainly not not like we're just going to breeze through the game. So, obviously a lot easier than a, a Dryano, huh? Is it Dryano? I think it's Dryano, isn't it? I'm not sure. Dryano or Draymon? Dryano. Yeah, it's Dryano. Got to be Dryano, isn't it, guys? I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll get the Stomp and get the Flinch. Not bad at all. We can go for the Ice Fang, actually. I've just remembered that because it's not a Fire type quite yet. Keep forgetting. Always forget that Fletching's not Fire Flying. Always, always normal flying to begin with. And then gains that Flying type and loses a normal one. Anyway. So yeah, we're just going to get on, finish off the route. Excellent, already leveled up once, which is awesome. Yeah, I was like training on Pokemon back near Santa Loon City. Uh, so yeah, as you can understand, it wasn't very good. I think there's an item up there, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Uh, it's the same route as last episode, so there is no point, or there's no, we're not allowed to catch this Pokemon here. So that is that. Da, 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 da. Running away. Got away safely. And we'll just get up here. Get this item and return to the path. Oh, okay. It's only an X speed anyway. At least I can set it for some, for some dollar, for some cash, for some wonga, for some quid. Don't actually use it in that context. You say, a quid is a pound. You don't say, I need some quid. You, well, some people might, but I don't. So... Need some, need some money. Wow, wow, money! Who would have thought to say money? Anyway, <laughs> um, so Volbeat's out this time. Excellent count rate, don't think. Its only moves are Barrage and Uproar at the moment, so it's not brilliant still. Uh, notice Hypnosis and Leech Seed as well, which is helpful, but not amazing. Um, I guess we go to Godzilla again, because this thing will... Um, a Volbeat and an Illumise, both bug flying types? I think they are. Um, well, maybe they're bug types. Whichever one they are, we'll take it out easily. Oh well, there's a confused ray. So maybe we won't. Maybe we won't. See, the thing I really wish, I wish there was a hard mode for Pokemon X and Y like there was for, um, what was it? Uh, Black 2 and White 2, I think it was. Because that would make Nuzlocks and Egglocks and whatever so much more interesting. Whereas we're now we're just playing through the normal game. So it's not as interesting as I like it. But anyway, let's just get on with it. Use an Ice Fang here. Hopefully we can get through the confusion this time and actually attack. Because otherwise that would not be fun at all. So uh, you notice guys, last night you didn't actually get an episode of the Egglog. You got an episode of mine and Luke's versus co-op thing. Uh, and that's because, well, that's starting up now. You should be getting episodes of those two or three times a week. Uh, depending on how we, you know, often we can get to record and such. Um, so you know, every three days or so. So you get two, two, two or three Egglogs and then a versus, two or three Egglogs are versus. So you know, no, some of you might be upset there's not, being egg, not, not getting an Egglog but... In my opinion, it will help to sort of drag the egg lock out for a bit longer. I know it sounds, if I say drag it out, it means it sounds generally bad. But I think it'll be a good thing because it's a really cool series. Uh, you know, it's the first time an egg lock's really been done on X and Y. Obviously, Luke's there doing his X one, but I was the one that suggested the idea, so it's all my thing. I know, I just sort of feel cool that I'm doing it, I'm the first one to do it, etc. Um, and such. So I think, you know, I, I, in, my, in my opinion, it's nice for me to drag it out. So, yeah. Da, da, da. Um, should we? No, we won't attack it this time. We'll just switch out. We should level up though after this one, so 
Not really a great idea switching out to Salute, um, but hopefully it's not got a bug type move, because <laughs> that would uh, not be nice for Salute. It's got Charm, which is bad for Salute. Is it Salute? So, do I say Salute or Salute? I don't know, I don't know. I don't even know. Let's go for the Pursuit here. Get our stab off. Salute, use Pursuit. Wow, it rhymed. I'm such a rhymer. I'm such a rhymer. Play Nice is also going to reduce our attack. Oh, so many attack reducing moves. What's going on here? Uh, we got the tech, so we got taunt. I should really use taunt just to, to make it us, make it attack us, but meh. So we're gonna use plain ice again. Wow, wow. Another two pursuits probably. Another one's not gonna take it out because it it's my attack drops, which kind of suck. But oh well. Just how the cookie crumbles, guys. Just how the cookie crumbles. Charm goes off. Okay, and we get the quick attack to finish him off. Kasmak, kaboom, kapow. Cur something or other to do with comic book attacks. There we are, comic book, um, superhero, books, anything of that sort. You get what I mean there, guys. Okay, so let's carry on and we go on a secret path here. Ooh, secret path. Oh no. Uh, and I think there's a guy down here to battle, isn't there? Yeah, there he is there. Blocks your path, so you have to go to the grass. <sighs> oh no, the grass, why? <laughs> nah, it's not bad. Youngster Jacob. Oh, his crow gunk comes out. Okay, so it's, it's bad for excellent, but good at the same time. If only we had confusion by now, which we don't. It is only level 11 though, so I'm going to go straight for the uproar. Uh, I think we can probably take it out of uproar before we take it takes us out with whatever it has, which is a poison sting, which is going to be super effective against us, but as long as we don't get poison, we'll be fine. We didn't get poisoned. Hells yeah. Hells to the yeah. Uh -huh. The uproar is going off and Krogonk is gone. We could stay in here and go for another uproar, I guess. Uh, depending on what. Well, we're going to have to stay in here, aren't we? Because of how it's set. So Beedrill's coming out now. Um, Fury attack. Uh, uh. I'm terribly sorry, guys. Camtasia just stopped recording. I had this problem the other night, so hopefully it doesn't happen again. I managed to sort of catch when it went. Uh, rather than previous times where I didn't catch it and just carried on recording. So hopefully it, rec it stopped recording like just in the middle of that battle then. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. I decided I'd, because uh, last time I did start re restart the recording, but I decided this time I wouldn't just because, um, you know, I don't want to go through the stress I had to do again. So um, let's go salute and we'll see what we can do here. So. Okay, Beedrill is here. Or Beedrill is using Fury Attack rather. Let's hope, yeah, I'm just hoping that Camtasia doesn't do it again. I have no idea why I did it the other night. I have no idea why it's doing it now. Um, could be the, f no, I have no idea why it is, to be honest. So I'll just have to watch it and make sure it doesn't go again, because that would just be quite annoying. Um, yeah, the other, the other days I start, restarted it because I, like, didn't notice it had gone and just carried on recording, uh, which was not fun at all, because, you know, we were missing, like, two minutes of footage. But I noticed right then when it went, and we were in the same battle, so the same turn, pretty much. So I thought I'd leave it like that. And just start from there. Okay, so we defeated this douche uh, with his beedrill and his. What else do they have? Crow gunk. Grab the item up here, and I think that's it for this route now. There's not a huge amount to do this on this, on this route, to be honest. Just a few battles here and there. Let's run past here. Oops, nope. Let's go over here. I've wow. I've just noticed that. Just remembered literally that I forgot to level up execute to the level that the bard Pokemon I caught was at. I actually just remembered that. I level up from level 1. So technically I made it harder for myself. Um, so you guys should definitely leave a like now. Because that was just extra work for me to be honest. So I can't believe I forgot that. I can't believe I didn't even notice that it was level 1 when I started leveling up. But I, you know, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I give up. I just don't know. I just do not know. Okay, anyway. Let's now run up to Parfum Palace. There aren't any battles in Parfum Palace from what I can remember. So all we need to do is run in grab an item or two if we want and then get out pretty much and do the puzzle at the back. We've already activated the event in there so I think we might just need to pop in and uh, we've already yeah, we've already done the event there with that dude so we can uh, just go past and I'm going to heal up in the bed just quickly because otherwise who knows who knows hopped in the bed and fell asleep Okay, and we'll go back out again. 
Um, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Might be something in this room. I can't quite remember all the amulet coin is. It is not in this room, so screw that room. There's only one thing I need. That's the amulet coin. So, and then we can just go straight out to the back. Nothing else to do in this huge area. It's just one singular amulet coin. Is it in here? Yep, there it is there. Amulet coin. That's all you need to do in this entire palace, apart from going out the back and doing some stuff there. And there's, there is some stuff at the back there. Because uh, there's like a... Uh, I think... There is the cut to get, there's some I just ran miscellaneous items to get, and obviously there's the puzzle to do with the fur through. So if that won't take too long, um, we'll just get it done quickly, and hopefully we can get to the Snorlax in this episode, I'm not quite sure how far we'll get. Some people are saying I can actually fish in Path and Palace, but uh, I'm not quite sure about that. And obviously we can't do that quite yet anyway, because we haven't got a fishing rod. <laughs> so, okay, uh, the cut is just over here. So as long as we run up here to get it, he's like, oh, if you find Cut, you can have it. And it's right here, within view dis viewing distance of him. So I have no idea in hell why he doesn't. I give up. I just give up with this dude's. People in the Pokemon world are very short-sighted, it would seem. Nice super potion there. So we can grab that and run off. And there's the way for the fur through. May as well just go the, do the fur through. There's not a load of important stuff to do in Path from Palace, just... Basically, miscellaneous items like potions and stuff. She's now chasing it, and yeah. Okay, so it's up there, I guess. Okay, okay, we get the point, Shauna. We get the point. Okay, we get the point, Shauna. We just want you to go and okay, the fur fruit's there. I should have gone the other way, shouldn't I? Okay, let's get Shauna to stand here. Stand here, Shauna. Yep, stand there. So then, when I go over here. It's going to run up there. Grab Shauna. <sighs> She's so annoying. I, d I will talk to you myself if I want to talk to you. Uh, and then I'll put her over here. Yep. Right there, please. And then we can just chase Furfrey around here. And it will go in there. Such puzzle. Much win. So complicate. <laughs> yeah, it's, it seems complicated at the start. But once you know exactly how to do it, it's just very quick and simple. So he's found the fur through, and he's like, oh, thank you, etc. And we'll put on fireworks. Not for you guys, just for the fur through. Rendezvous at the balcony. That's exactly what we'll do. But I can't believe she says that. Maybe fur through would be better off without it. A rich, snobby owner is better than no owner at all, to be honest. Same as dogs in real life. As long as it takes care of it, and he obviously does, because he's like, my beautiful fur through. So, just Pokemon I trying to add a bit more personality in such the games which is pointless so okay we're going back into the house now run into the house bum, 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 bum. and da, 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 bum. I'm singing Mario and that didn't really work but I'm singing it anyway wow 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 <laughs> I don't know okay and over to the balcony over here nothing else to do in the house as I said We'll just head straight to the balcony. We'll actually get to see the fireworks at night for once. Both times I played for this game before, uh, both on the egg, uh, both on the Let's Play and the Wonderlock, I have been doing this part in day. But finally, it's the night time when we get to see the fireworks. So, yay! And we get to have this weird moment with Shauna. So, yeah. Um, you know, I've never really watched fireworks alone with a boy before. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Uh, these are teens that are just pissing themselves there, just flying over. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Where's the water coming from? Uh, it doesn't make any sense at all. She's talking again. We don't give a damn, Shauna. We don't give a damn. Fireworks! Falling. More fireworks. More fireworks. More fireworks. More fireworks, etc. It's quite a few fireworks, to be honest. Just one fucking fur through. A lot of fireworks there. And then everyone arrives. Wow, that was amazing. I'm going to keep it in an album in my heart. Uh, that would be very nasty to actually get the album out. Because it would be in your heart, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway. The poker flute. Yes, we need the flute. We're only 10 minutes in. Wow. Or about 10 minutes, I guess. I'm guessing. Because I don't know how long the first, um, the first thing was. So 10 minutes or so in. Which means we can go do Snorlax next. And try and catch Snorlax to be the encounter on the route. So, indeed, indeedios, indeedios. 
And there is Protect. I don't know why he gives you Protect, to be honest. Is it like some sort of... Oh, I get it. Is it a joke? Because it's Shauna and him, like, romance. is like, use Protect, Shun. Oh, you get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay, fine. Use Protect, Shun. That would, that would, yeah, that's, I, I think, I think it might actually be some sort of inner joke. Let's, let's put protect there, you know. I don't know exactly, but maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you know what Pokemon's like with these subtle euphemisms and stuff like, like my Amolgari wants to shock you all to den in Lumio City. <laughs> that's obviously in the, uh, a euphemism and such. So, you know what they're like. They could possibly be. It could possibly be. Anyway. Let's run a home, run it home, and out here. And that's us done in Parfum Palace. Uh, we've healed up, we haven't had any battles since, so we must go straight down to where the Snorlax is. I think we've got Great Balls, uh, two Great Balls, I think. So we'll be fine catching the Snorlax, I think. I, I say I think a lot. I'm thinking a lot today, aren't I? Thinking is not good for me there. Uh, which way is it? It's this way, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember which way it is. Yeah, it's this way, because this is the way with the bushes. <laughs> the way of the bushes. Ha ha ha. Okay, Route 6. Okay, it's Route 6 rather than Route 7, but same thing. Same thing here. Let's see what else we got. Route 7 is there where we are now. We're just going to head straight over to where the Snorlax is. Who's out front? We execute out front who has Gnosis, which could be good. Um, so, should we stay in? I don't know. See, excellent isn't going to be very good because of the fact that it only knows uproar. Actually, no, wait, we can use Barrage, I guess. But we're staying with. We're going with Godzilla first. Because I feel that's going to be uh, a better choice. And then we can switch out to execute and use hypnosis when we want to catch it. I don't think it has rest. Is a possibility it might have rest though. So I can't quite, I can't remember. It was too long ago. It's far too long ago. Oh. Okay, Snorlax. Let's do this. Question mark. Snorlax opened its eyes wide and attacked us like a noob. Like a noob. Let's do this, Snorlax. A wild Snorlax appeared, except it didn't really appear, it just arose, awakened, one of those. Um, I'm going to go for a Stomp. Stomp is not going to do much to it at all, I don't think at least. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Flinched, aha, uh -huh. Flinch Hacks, Flinch Hacks is good, very good indeed. Let's get the Stomp off again, another Flinch would be nice. Yes, it was, wow, not bad, the Flinch Hacks is real. Uh, two more, and it should be down to pretty low health, and then we can think about switching out. I'll probably just, oh, it's got a Citrus Berry, of course. I'm guessing it's Citrus, not Oren. Okay, it's Oren. No, it's Citrus. Okay. Citrus is done by percentage. I always thought, before X and Y, I thought Citrus was like percentage. It was like 25%. It was actually just health point wise. We managed to get paralyzed by its stupid lick. So it's going to be fast on us now. And there's Amnesia. Which is going to raise its special defense. Which doesn't really make any difference to us. Because we're physical attackers. As I think the majority of my team is. So, yeah. One more stomp should be able to put down to low health. And we can start thinking about throwing them Pokeballs. Indeedios! Indeedios! Stomping again, shouldn't kill it. There we are, good. And let's throw, uh, I'm just gonna go straight for the Great Ball. I'm not even gonna, okay, one Great Ball, four Pokeballs. So I'm gonna go straight for the Great Ball, go ham on it, uh, and see if we can get it in this. Let's see, shall we? One, two, flare! Okay, it's got Lick again, as we've seen. I really don't wanna switch out to uh, Excellent and take a Lick, but we'll have to do it anyway, so. We're going to do it, guys. We're going to do it. It's our only status inflicting Pokemon quite at the moment. So, uh, I could have... What was... Um, false Swipe. That was what I was thinking about. It went for the Tackle rather than the Lick, which is good. Uh, we have to Hypnosis. We should be faster, which we are. Hypnosis is off. And it's asleep for a turn or two. So, we can actually throw some Pokeballs at it. Hopefully, uh, we manage to get it. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I mean, hopefully we manage to get it anyway, because I want stupid egg to hatch. Um... I feel like it's always easier when I'm playing an emulator to catch Pokemon rather than when I'm playing an actual game. I don't know why. One. Two. Three. Yes! We got it, guys! We got that Snorlax! Yeah, not bad at all. Which means we can switch out for a Pokemon, or an egg, rather. Just gonna get my party. Oh, shit! Oh, no, wait. I thought, the I thought the experience show was still on. And I hadn't noticed for the whole episode, but it's off. It's just because there was more than one Pokemon in battle. It's all good guys, it's all good. Whew, just had a freak out then. Because I was obviously using the experience shed to train earlier. I was just training Magikarp and Execute up, so. Awesome, you caught Snorlax. Grr, waff. And that's the fur through and the trainer coming down to say hello. Oh. <laughs> Someone's like, oh. Oh, okay, oh. <laughs> okay, there's the flute. It's been given to him now. 
and he's shocked and then it's going to leave us without him saying goodbye thanks and then Shauna makes fun of him again and then when we get to here Tieno and Trevor catch up with us in the end and then they go and check out the daycare and that's the item we need to get to after we check out the daycare and hatch that egg this is the Pokemon daycare they take care of Pokemon for you here or something of that effect Dun, 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 dun. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. And then they're going to go off and catch some Pokemon. Pretty much. Pretty damn much. Okay, we'll go and grab an egg now. I need to get my random number generator up. Let's do that. Hopefully it doesn't. Yep, okay. Between 1 and 245. Now, guys, I've actually put a load more Pokemon over here. So we have Box 1, Box 2, Box 3, Box 4, Box 5, Box 6, Box 7, Box 8, Box 9. And now we see the next load of boxes are full of just random Pokemon I've caught or bred. Um, so that's that. So I will be trading eggs again now, so be sure to be on as much as you can in the next few, next few days, guys. And such. Um, yeah, so let's put, let's get the random number generator, generated, go. Number 140. Okay, interesting. So 30, 60, 90, 120, 121, 127, um, I think. Yeah, okay. Let's go for 100, 150, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, oops. 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. It sure does like this box, doesn't it? Okay, so Snorlax then is, has is level 15. Oops, didn't do that. So it's level 15. Um, oh, I should really put Talonflame in my party, shouldn't I? Talonflame, you should be in my party. Let's jump over to the live box. Who should we get rid of for a moment? Albrecht is pretty level up now, so put Talonflame there, and yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Whew, back out again. So, well, we shall then, uh, I haven't got a bike still, which really sucks, but we need to get the item that was over here. I always miss this item. Literally, I miss it so much. Nice heal ball. Heal ball is awesome. Okay, so we've been going for about 20 minutes maximum, is my guess, so we'll, we'll finish off this route most probably. Might not have the battle with the rivals today, um, because of the fact that the battle with the rivals, but still. Might leave it for another episode. Um... I guess we'll just go on and get some... Actually, well, I might try and hatch the egg. Yeah, I'm going to hatch the egg, guys. Also need to go to the Pokemon Center and heal up. So, guys, I'll hatch this egg, and I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, and the egg's just about to hatch. I have the... Let me see, nickname here. Okay, I know what it is. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's do anything. Uh, we'll just get on and hatch the egg, shall we? We'll see what it is. So, I wonder what could this be? I mean, we've got a grass type now. We, we've we got a water type on the way in Gyarados. We've got fire type. We you know, we could do an electric type since we lost fire. Just don't know what else there is. This Pokemon is a Cyndaquil, and it's called Luster. Not bad. It will be a nice replacement for our Pig Knight if we ever lose it, you know, because Typhlosion is not bad of that, etc. So, L U, oops, U S T R, Luster! Not a bad name, not a bad name, not a bad name. Triple not bad, triple not bad. Okay, and I guess um, I'm going to put it back in the PC for the Memento, since we need to level up and such to level 15, so almost a, almost a Quilava actually. I might put it on the team next episode, just because of the fact that we may as well have it on our team, um, you know, train it up on the way, rather than like, when, we learn, when we lose Albrecht, being left with like loads of Pokemon to, you know, sort of, uh, like, if, if I left it level 15, and then Albrecht was, got to level 30, and we need to, uh, then evolve it, and we need, it died, I mean, uh, and we need to level this guy up, means we'd have to level up whole for 15 levels, which not, would not be fun, so I may as well level up on the way, put Talonflame back, and I guess we'll just get on with it, shall we, uh, put Execute out front still, um, I guess we'll just finish off the, the route, or ha at least have the trainer battles on the route, I might make a trip into the Battle Chateau next episode, I'm not quite sure if I will or not, um, but obviously we also have the trainer, the rival battles to do at the end too, so that'll be next episode, let's just battle these artists that are here, just with their Smeagles, so it wouldn't, shouldn't take too long. I mean, there's two Ismaels and there's one which is a double battle. I can't remember what they've got, so we'll just have to see when it comes along. Haven't had any more problems, problems, programs, <laughs> problems with Camtasia because of the fact, well, we just haven't had any problems with Camtasia. Um, go for, we are one level lower. I'm going for Hypnosis first. It's going to use Ember. Why does it always have a move that's good against me? Always happens. <laughs> Damn it, okay, uh, avoid the attack, so I'm not going to risk staying in, I'm just going to switch out to, I guess, uh, Godzilla. No, why not, we go to Albrecht, Albrecht's got the arm thrust, just to uh, take that smuggle out quickly. Since the, you know, Ember, Godzilla, and Salute are all level 19 now, may as well use him again. Ember's obviously not going to do much to us, so GG Smeagol, GG indeed. 
and we'll use that arm thrust and take it out. But yeah, I haven't had any more problems with Camtasia, which hopefully isn't going to jinx myself now, um, but that's good. I don't know really why, why it's work, working like that, but it's just the way it happens, I guess. Anyway, that thing's gone. Awesome. Awesome. And there we are. I'll break level up to level 20. And then execute, or excellent rather, we'll also get Smog. Uh, smog could be a good move to have. I mean, no, it won't actually. Not, not, not. If we had the normal moves, yeah, but we've got egg moves, so it's not good at all. Especially since we're physical attacking. Artist Georgia was defeated. It's been ages since we worked a good sweat up. Yeah, because it was a very tight battle, wasn't it? Okay, uh, nothing else to do there. There's Trevor in there, but we need to talk to Trevor. Screw him. And we'll go for this double battle here. I think the next Pokemon coming out alongside Excellent is Reginald the Magikarp. So uh, we'll see what happens there. They have, okay, it's just two Smeagles. For some reason I thought it wasn't two Smeagles, it just didn't seem right to me. So yeah, yep, there's Reginald coming out there. Nice Reginald flapping about. I did notice that the Cyndaquil is a, it's a quiet Cyndaquil, so it's obviously not nature bred. And it doesn't have extra sensory, which is an egg move it usually has. So unfortunately we've got a good, or oh, an amazing Cyndaquil there, which is just a shame, but oh well. I'm going to seed one of these Smeagol, and Reginald is going to switch out to... Let's go to Godzilla, why not? Godzilla can do some work here. Can do some work indeed. Indeed! Let's see what we got. Godzilla's out. And Smeagol's using Clear Smog, which is going to wipe any stat changes, I think. Oh, it's a super effective move. What, what super effective moves does it have? It's going to use Confusion on Godzilla. Not going to do much there. What um, what type is Clear Smog? Is it like Ghost? I guess it's Ghost type, since it's super effective against Psychic. Ghost, or maybe it's Flying type actually. It could possibly be that, I'm not sure. At least we're getting some health points back on Excellent with the Leech Sea, which is good, means I can keep it in the battle. Then going to use Barrage rather than uh, Uproar, just in case we need to switch out. And we're going to go for the Ice Fang rather than the Stomp because it's got a higher base power and we don't get stabbed from either of them. Twister is going to go off on both of them. Oh, that's nasty, but it doesn't do anything, so screw it. Super effective on Godzilla, apparently. What? Or not very effective with that. Yeah, I think that's not very effective. Who knows? Ice Fang goes off against that Smeagol, which is going to do decent damage there. And let's see how much the Barrage does here. Nothing at all, really. It's, it's a 2-5 to five hit turn. A 2 to 5 hit move rather, it's a multi hit move, but it only hit two times, brilliant. Leech Seed though is going to do some more damage to that Smeagol there, lovely, not bad at all. Get back the health points we lost from that Twister pretty much. So yeah, we're then going to go and use Barrage, I'm going to use Uproar actually. I'm going to use the Uproar on that Smeagol, oh okay, I have to use it on myself apparently, which is a bit weird. Then we use Ice Fang, I'm going to use it on the other Smeagol, because the Ice Fang should then be able to take the other Smeagol out. And uh, then the Uproar will go on the other smeg will take that out as well. Metal Claw is super effective, but it's not going to do much, okay? Panic over, guys. Panic over. <laughs> uh, the Ice Fang is going to be hopefully taking it out here. Yep, it did indeed. And that means then the Uproar hopefully will then finish off taking it out. Excellent. Screw to level 16. Does uh, Execute Evolve via Leaf Stone? It does indeed. I remember the Pikachu short from the second Pokemon movie, is it? Uh, with the birds. I think it's the second one at least. Um, where, you know, the little Pikachu short where Execute evolves into Execute all right at the end after they save the Execute. So obviously we need Leaf Stone for that. We could buy one from um, from Lumio City. I'll have to see what what moves it's, is learned and when. So I'll check that out off screen most probably. And yeah, I guess I'll see you next episode. Okay, so we have one more battle left. We have the little Hatching Power S wore off because I was using that to do stuff. Um, we're getting a little cutscene here with Trevor talking about the Battle Chateau. Um, we might go in the next episode just with extra training, but I don't want to get too leveled up, so I'm not sure. Okay, um, let's head down here. The, the artist is over there though, so that's a bit of a fail. Go and battle the artist here, and then I'll leave the rival battle for the next episode, because I'm not quite sure how long this episode's gotten to, gotten to be, so yeah. Okay, so again, a Smeagol comes out, which is not going to be any trouble for us at all, because it's well a Smeagol, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> I mean, it depends what moves it has, to be honest, with Smeagol, so I'm going to stay in and hopefully get the Hypnosis off, and then we can use whatever we want, pretty much. It's got Powder Snow, which is bad, because that's super effective against us. Please don't kill me. Okay, it didn't. Cool. Whew. I was hiding away, and our Hypnosis avoided, uh, missed again. Wow. Not our luck, is it? Going to send Salute out. Uh, I th I'm not sure. No, Ice is, is neutral against Rock, isn't it? But it's super effective against Dragons. That's why I don't want to send Godzilla out. That's why. Power Snow comes off again, it's going to do some neutral damage to us, 
Not much though, only 5, so Salute should be able to take this thing out easily. Has the Pursuit, so I guess we'll use that. Yeah, Pursuit's stronger than Quick Attack. Indeed. And always took it and won, to be honest. It has Rock Smash though. Wow, these Smeagol though, they always have moves against us. Defense fell, but we don't care. Just gonna hit off with a quick attack and end the battle, finish the battle up, whatever move, word you want to use. Mouth word, memories, feelings. Ah, oh, can't remember the order they're in. That's from How I Met Your Mother. When uh, Lily and Ted are talking about the best man speech, and then Ted's like, So what's your uh, maid of honor speech like? And she's like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wing it. And she's like, Oh, really? What's, what are you thinking then? So, you know, mouth, wor mouth words, memories, feelings, something like that. Anyway. That's where I'm going to end the up today's episode, guys. In the next episode, we shall head over to the left. Uh, we shall battle the rivals there, have our double battle, I think it is. Then head over to Ambret um, Town and probably make our way towards the fossil cave, glittering cave. Um, and we'll see where we get from there, guys. So, I thank you for joining me on today's episode. Sorry for the problem with Camtasia at the start, but I really couldn't help it. Um, hopefully it won't happen again, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye, my friends.